Now, before we move on to the template setup, we still have one more live setup part that's the personal vision statement. But this is a really creative process. Uh, I can't really help you out here. You have all the necessary information for you to may be able to write your, your own vision statement. And all you have to do is just delete mine and write yours here in this synced box. Okay, so later on, you can use this uh, throughout the template. Okay, and after you, you've done that, then we can go and move on to the template setup part. In the live setup, we filled four of the main uh, databases, areas, my core values, end goals, and mean goals. We still have a couple of things left to do, but before we go, let's just understand how this template is built up. So let's go to the customize page and here to databases. So here you can see all the main databases. Okay, so we have the inbox, days, months, quarter, year, my core values, areas, end goals, means goals, projects, tasks, collections, resources, and tags. Almost the whole template is built around these main databases. Not a single page from here contains any database. Every single database is under customize and databases. Okay, so here you have your main databases and of course the areas databases. Okay, so for the health hub, all the databases are here. For finance hub, all the databases are here. Okay, so if you maybe from mistake you delete uh, something from resources or areas or, or from dashboard, no actual information will be lost. Okay, knowing this, we can go back to the template setup. And here mainly you have to fill out the rest of the uh, main databases so that you can start using the template. Okay, so we have projects, you have a couple of examples here, so you can delete these and add the projects that you want to work on right now. Also, you have the categories. So for tasks database, you have a property named category. And here you can further filter and, and sort uh, these tasks based on category. Okay, you can create a new category if you want easily. Okay, and that's it. For tasks, Maybe you can add new tasks, delete all the example ones and create uh, your own tasks that you want, add projects, add a uh, category to them. Uh, for resource categories, now these are the collections. So the collections database, here you have the type of resources. Okay, you have courses, articles, podcasts, and so on. You have different notebooks and data for later. Here, what you really need to understand is that in this template, I split the resources, the static resources like links and documents and, and personal notes from the learning resources like documentaries, courses, and, and so on. So everything that is learning related is under the growth hub, you will see later on, and the rest of them the static resources and, and notebooks you will find in the resources page. Okay, but moving on, you will, uh, you will understand and you will know why uh, I made it like this. Okay, and then resources. Again, you have a lot of examples here. You can just delete the ones that you don't want and add new resources that you want to start using the template. Okay, and when you're ready with this, we can start to actually use the template going to the dashboard.